Hi, welcome to the section five of our course. In this section, we will review the capabilities that Watson provides for understanding our customers and making a more customized experience for them. So let's see how Watson can help us for having a better user engagement. In this section, what we will learn. First, we will have a review of the personality inside service. The personality insight service, as we will see, makes psycholinguistic analysis and then give us a portrait of the personality of some people. After that, we will review some sample use cases. So we will show you uh, some ways you, that you can use Watson and include it in your applications in order to provide a better user experience. And at the end, we will review a sample program for calling this API from a Node.js program. So let's start reviewing the personality inside service. As I told you earlier, the personality inside service basically is a service for predicting user personality traits, but based on written text. So it is not a normal personality test like some of you maybe have taken for applying for a job or something like that. But this is based on the psycholinguistic analysis of the world. So it takes as input a written text, it can be Twitter, it can be Facebook post, it can be an open text. The only important thing is that it's written in your own words. And then it computes the personality based on the standard psychology Big Five standard model. In addition to the Big Five standard model, it also includes consumption preference, that is some useful feature you can use for customizing the product offering or maybe for understanding better your customer. So let's have a review of what is the Big Five standard model. The Big Five standard model used in psychology that basically describes your personality using five main traits and each one of these traits has corresponding subfacets. So uh, remember this acronym, OCEAN, because those are the big five uh, traits. So the first one is the openness to experience, is how inclined are you to try new experiences or maybe you are more conservative. The second one is consensusness, uh, how many thinking or how many reflections you make before making a decision. The third one is the extraversion. How is your communication with other people? The fourth is agreeableness. Is how are you in your relationship with other people and neuroticism that is basically how meticulous you are in making some kind of task. So uh, in general, this is not something that was invented by Watson, but is more of a psychology. If you remember for our first video in our first section, uh, the cognitive computing not only has to do with computing per se, but also includes uh, psychology, anthropology, and so on. So this is one sample of what I was talking about. So remember, these are the five main traits that you can analyze with the personality inside service. And not to say that there is no good or bad personality, only there are different personalities. Each one has different views of the life. Please remember this because this is not a service for classifying one people as good or bad. It's only for understanding your customer, understanding one people based on these five attributes. So let's review some useful facts. First, as I told you, the service is based on written text. So it makes a psycholinguistic analysis over this input text. So the more words, the more accurate results. The maximum precision is get around 3000 words. But if you have less than that, let's say about 1000, it, it gives you good results also. If you had very few words, the service is still works but its precision is less accurate. So it's not recommended to handle a low level of words because the results uh, will be not most precise as you want. The second part is that each one of these trees and each sub facet are measured independently. 
So I will show you in, in the sample, uh, is one of these traits, this trait like openness, unconsciousness or so on, has different soft facets in size. But in some way, it is not compute like a linear function or maybe a combination of the internal sub facet, but uh, it's only a way of grouping the personality features. So remember that you will analyze each variable, each facet, and each trait independently. And the third useful fact is that you can specify if you want to get the raw score, uh, that is to say, the score that maybe you will obtain if you take a standard personality test in written form in well, not using Watson, or do you want to get the normalized percentage? So for example, please remember this when you are evaluating, if you get a 90% in openness, it does not mean that you are 90% open, but you are in the 90 percentile of the population so it says that you are above the 90% of the people with that characteristic, with that openness. So in some way, it, it serves you as a way of comparing people against a reference population. So uh, Watson made a survey from Twitter for calculating these percentiles, but if maybe you want to do a specific research in your user's population, Maybe you can get the raw score and then do the normalization. This is important for you to understand. Don't interpret the percentile of, as an absolute measure, but more as a relative measure. So above an additional data that you get with the service are the consumer needs, values, and consumption preference. So it's not only the big five traits that you will find in psychology standard models, but also the service says the, the consumer needs. That maybe is the kind of thing that you want to satisfy when you are evaluating a product. Uh, let's see that with a sample later. But basically it's the kind of thing you look for in a product. And the values is complementary to that. The values is the set of factors that influence you when making a decision. For example, if you are altruist or are less altruist than some other people, you can take into consideration these values and consumer needs in order to customize the, the offering that you are presenting to a potential buyer in your e-commerce site. And uh, the other one is the consumption preference that basically are indicators of whether you may be inclined to buy some kind of product. So for example, uh, the service can say if maybe you are better for a, a big engine car or maybe for a compact car, if you like reading books or don't like reading books, if you like movies or something like that. So in some way, all these useful info is like a gold mine for marketing people. So this service is very powerful in that of some use cases. So let's review a result in order to give the complete picture of the kind of thing that this service can get you. So I will go to the demo that is available on the internet. And remember, this was a demo that we saw in an overview in the section two, but we will have a more deep dive in now. So I will select Opera, and then I will ask for doing an analysis of his personality insights. Okay, the service now is working. And while it's working, it will give me a summary. But this is the, the part that I want to show you. So here there are the big five traits. And for each one of these traits, you have the different sub facets. So for example, in the agreeableness trait, you have the altering, sympathy, straightforwardness, and so on. These are the percentiles. So it says, for example, that you are in the 94 percentile of the people to the reference population that have a high score in the altruism facet. If you look over each one of these facets, you have some brief description that gives you a an, an summary of what the trait means. But uh, it is better interpreted with a psychology. So if you want to try this service and to customize to your needs, maybe you will need some help from some psychologists. So here are the other one, the other big five. And here we have the consumer needs and the values. 
So for example, uh, in consumer needs, uh, you will look for curiosity. So maybe you will be tempted to try new gadgets or something like this. And in values, you for example, look for values like tradition. So maybe you will not be so much able to test new brands or test something very new because you look more traditional things. So um, these are the kind of info that you get from this. And this is the part that I told you about consumption preference. In the consumption preference, uh, based on the personality insights analysis, they found that, for example, Oprah can be influenced by family when making product purchases. She likes lady music, but uh, she doesn't like documentary movies. So with all this info, you can better start to understand your users and make a more memorable experience in your application.